Okay, hello. This is going to be a tutorial on how to rip a DVD to your computer. Okay, there's a program that you need to download first. Um, it's called DVD Shrink. The link for this will be in the description of the video. So just download that and install it, and then open it up. Then go to Edit Preferences. Now, make sure this says 4.7 gigabytes. That's a standard DVD size. It should automatically be selected, but just make sure it is. Then go up to the tab at the top where it says Output Files. Now, where it says Split VAB Files into 1 GB size chunks, just untick that like it is here, and then press OK. Next, press Open Disk. And now, before you click that, make sure your DVD is in your computer. Um, and if it is, it should automatically select your DVD. If it doesn't, just go to the drop down menu and find it. And then press OK. After that DVD has been imported, go to Reauthor at the top here. Then under Main Movie, you should see Title 1. Now, if there's more than one title, more than one title under Main Movie, uh, find the one that's the biggest size. Um, for me, there's only one here, so you just drag that over here. And then at the top, click Backup. Now, this is where you can select where you want your backup to be saved. So, <coughs> mine's saved to the desktop, but if you want to change that, click Browse and then Find a Place, and then press OK. Um, now it's just going to go through and rip your DVD to your computer to your chosen destination. So, I'll come back when this is done and show you what to do next. Right, so as you can see, it's nearly done now. <coughs> and when it's done, a box will pop up, and just press OK, <coughs> and then you can exit your DVD shrink program. Now, wherever you saved it, you'll notice there's two new folders um, here, and the one's called Audio TS, and the other one's called Video TS. Now, you can go ahead and delete the Audio TS because, as you can see here, there's absolutely nothing in it. So, just delete that, and then click on the Video TS. And there's only one file here you actually need. It's this one. You should be able to tell which one it is, but if you can't, it's the biggest one, and mine's 3.72 gigabytes. That's the only file you need, so you can just drag that out of there, and delete video TS. Okay, and in this file, you can go ahead and rename... Whoops. And that's it. I'll just show you it works. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments and ratings.